What the CD shows is her on that day, exactly what she was wearing, how she looked that particular day. Because a lot of times pictures, when they're flat, you don't understand the height, the size of this particular individual. The CD will show you exactly how she looked on that particular day when she went missing. couple real quick items. The reward money is now up to $26,000 for any information that leads to the whereabouts of Sandra. Um, our leads are up to over 800 at this particular point. We have uh, search teams from 17 different agencies. Over 300 trained search people have come in to help us today. Additionally, I'm sure there are going to be hundreds of citizens that are coming in to help pass out flyers, do a door-to-door -door canvas, things like that. <laughs> So uh, we have eight-year-old, so it, with her missing, it just it hit close to home, and you know, you just never know what can happen. It's scary that you know this girl came up missing, and I just I, I do do anything to help. After a week, there's there's no trace, or you know, there's nothing. So hopefully, with all the volunteers, they can find something. We're here to assist Tracy PD. They've asked us to come out and search uh, some areas out in about north of Highway 205. So we put in a mutual aid request to the state and we have about 320 search and rescue volunteers from approximately 14 agencies um, from all over the Bay Area and in Northern California. Um, everything from ground pounders to we have search dogs and equestrians and ATVs. We had divers in the Old River. We've just began assisting Tracy PD to follow up on um, some leads that they have. So far, nothing has uh, uh, produced anything um, that's changing the direction of, of their investigation. We're going to continue until Tracy PD tells us otherwise.